in this edition of successful candidates. This is the prayer as long as we be in the middle of that list. Respected and honored special guest, Sri Tuzben Kikon, District <coughs> Chief Medical Officer, Governor of Nagaland, on whose shoulder the program is being organized today. Respected LMR Bureau President and his office chairs, honored Mr. Remamo Kikon. Retired Additional Director, Agri Department, Government of Nagaland, whose availability to the needs of the society is commendable. Everybody acknowledges it. Vilamar BCC Chairman and his office bearers, Vilamar SU President and his colleagues, servants of God, chairmen, chairmen from different villages. GBs, elders, parents, near and dear ones, and all those who have gathered here to grace the occasion, very good morning and greetings to you all. This function is very, very important. The very fact that so many important dignitaries are present here itself acknowledges the importance of this function. In fact, the whole Lotha meter range public, every Lotha, every Naka, all CSOs, civil societies organizations have joined in the celebration of your achievement physically as well as in spirit. We acknowledge the massive amount of hard work with great discipline that we have put in. We have brought name, fame, and recognition to our villages, to the parents, to the teachers, to the schools, to our district, to the whole of Nagan. We are truly very, very proud of you, young achievers. And not only that, apart from inking your name in the annal of the history of our middle brain, I will vouch you the biggest contribution that you have rendered to the society by securing such a wonderful result is that the challenge that you have posed to the younger generation, your juniors, to the students in general. I thought I would quote this when you are inspired by great purpose some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their point. Your mind transcends limitation. Your consciousness expands in all directions. And you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. Is this somewhat similar? <laughs> You are finding yourself in a wonderful world right now, basking in the glory of your success, surrounded by so many beautiful people, ever supported people, range people, experiencing great moment of recognition and acknowledgement of a great achievement. I would like to insist on this point for this event. May this wonderful time, wonderful moment that we are experiencing now be a springboard for you to scale higher, to scale greater heights in the days to come. And for the students gathered here, some of our students coming from Sainis or from Bhakti, uh, I would like to tell you this. You are experiencing something very special moment. Very, very special. 
This kind of functions and occasion doesn't occur every time. From this very moment, please note it. When you find yourself confused, when you find yourself doubting your own capabilities, abilities, you don't have to look far. You look at them. They have created a point of reference for all of us to reinvent, rededicate ourselves and find the path that God has chosen for you. Look at them through their hard work. It is a very encouraging, very motivating, very inspiring moment for all the children. May God give you the grace to see and look up at the hard work with great discipline of these top notchers as a point of reference. And for you, top notchers, if I may share this short story. So, research has not been done, but it's a way of telling a story. The bald eagle lives up to 70 years, but when it reaches the age of 40, it loses its power. Its talons becomes weak, unable to catch a prey. Its beak unable to tear the food, flesh, and feed itself. The wings, the powerful wings have become very weak. Otherwise, that helps the eagle to swoop down this prey within a split second. Now, the eagle is faced with two options. Either to die a slow death or go through a painful process of rebirth. It has only two options. So this bald eagle takes the other options, fly up the rocky mountain and stays there. And from there, slowly with his talons, with his beak, it removes the talons. And it's a very, very painful process. And once that is done, it smashes its beak against the rock to remove the old beak and wait there without eating food. And once its beak has become strong, it will start removing the feathers one by one. And it really undergoes an excruciating, painful period of labor. And once he is fully grown, once the talons are grown strong, once the beak has regained its vigor, once the wings have already become strong, what happens? It takes a one more flight, a flight of freedom, and it goes on to live for 70 years again. A youthful life. My prayer and of course not only me but all those who are present here, our prayers for you, young achievers, is that may God grant you the grace and strength to face any challenges and difficulties and to take the path of people. That is our prayer and our wish for you. Once again, the whole Lotha, particularly the Lotha Middle Range Pathway, are with you all. We congratulate you and wish you the very best. May God guide and lead you with wisdom and strength and humility in every new settings of life. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, this is a prayer for a wonderful and motivating speech. Coming back to our uh, next program, Chijo, no matter all, you know, more than the short speech, speeches, I'm giving the military students, come up, you get that. So, now you are jiki, now you are jiki, now you are jiki, so now you are jiki, 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 now you are j
Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon. Respected Chairperson, Mr. Asan Muli, Vice President at Amar Pio, Mr. Peter Nchile Moyadhan, Catechist, Respected Mr. Anjan Muri, President at LMRPO, Mr. Zakaria Izu, Vice President, LMRPO, Mr. Tichamo Ogun, President, LMRBCCU, Mr. Y. James Kipon, Chairman, Bakti Town, Mr. Hongbeng Muri, Vice President, LMRCU, Come President, BTSU, Respected Sir Rampa Mokikon, Retired Joint Director, Agri and Advisor, Government of Nalan, Sir Emin Yantan, Former President and Advisor, LMRPO, Respected Dr. Zubin Kikon, CMO Wuka, Mr. E. T. Jamo Izu, of Pastor Mr. Abimo Lapon, Vice President, LMRPO, Respected Mr. Long Shitan Kikon, Tikon, Mr. Pio Jamo Izu, Pastor AG Church, Bhakti Town, and all the village councils, elders, intellectuals, students, student leaders, and meritorious students, and to you all present here. I give greetings to you all in the name of our Almighty God. My name is Ilyani R. Ohan, and I passed out my HSLC from Little Star Higher Secondary School, Dimabur. I'm the daughter of Tiranza Mo'ovan and Zizubuni of Lotsa Village. Firstly, I would like to thank God for his blessings and guidance throughout my journey. Without this, his grace, none of this would have been possible. I am also immensely grateful to my teachers and school authorities. I think without thanking them, my speech would be incomplete. It is because of their support, encouragement, and dedication that I'm able to stand here today. Without my teachers, this wouldn't have been possible. My deepest appreciation also goes out to my parents and family for their unconditional love, support, constant encouragement, and prayers. Their belief in me has been my source of strength and inspiration every step of the way. Securing a place in the top ed has been a result of hard work, commitment, and sacrifice. It is a testament to the belief that with hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. As I look towards the future, I am filled with optimism and excitement. I am eager to continue my academic journey and pursue my dreams with the same determination and patience that has brought me to this point. To my fellow students, I encourage you to never underestimate your potential. With hard work, perseverance, and determination, anyone can achieve greatness. Once again, I extend my heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you, and special thanks to Lota Middle Range Public Organization for organizing this special program. And as I accept this recognition, I do so with a profound sense of humility and a commitment to continue striving for excellence in all my future endeavors. Motsoka.